Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Um, last part we got a piece of heart from there and now we're going to explore what's in this hole because I honestly can't rightly recall what's in there. Um, I think it's 200 rupees but I'm not sure. Oh, it's this puzzle. Yeah, I think it's 200 rupees but I'm not sure. I better not screw this up because I have like a plan for what I'm going to do in this video. Um, cause I'm going getting, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going doing the Orca sword training in this video just to get it out of the way. Okay, I think I have a pretty good idea of what I'm supposed to do. Okay, just pull that one out there. Pull that one out. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I think I know. Um, okay, I think I might have to pull this one out again. Will that get me up there? Oh, yeah, okay, this should work. Okay, yep, now I got it. Um, I honestly don't know what in here. I'd say what's in here, I'd say it's probably 200 rupees. Yeah, because you've got to make sure that this top block doesn't move because or else it won't be um, in the light anymore. Okay, well we figured that one out. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about when I was in um, when I was in Dragon Roost Cavern. I was talking. Do you remember that part where you had to like pull out the blocks? This is the room I was talking about when I was think. This is like the cave I was thinking of when I was saying like, oh, there's a room where you have to pull out the blocks and it's really easy to make a mistake. And it is a silver rupee, but we are not going to turn our noses up at that. No, lift a lift a lift a good horse. What's lift a good horse? Look a gift horse in the mouth. Not lift a good. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, now we're going to outside island. Um, I've had the most stupid idea in the world, and I'm going to do it. Oh well, of course, just miss the boat. Um, is Harry on the boat? That was like this show that used to be on, and I hate it because like. Because Harry is kind of like a not so well, it's not like the most common name in the world. Like they seem to always like give like TV characters and TV shows and stuff the name Harry. And there was this like the show that used to be on Sky One called Is Harry on the Boat? And everyone used to be like saying like, Oh, is Harry on the boat? And as well, like my grandparents actually taped the film How Harry Became a Tree, just because the guy's name is Harry and they gave it to me. I was like, Oh my God, could you just? Just stop. It's just really funny. Look, see, you have to, like, approach from the... Well, I'm go am I going to say that every single time? I think it has to be daytime as well, but we'll figure that out. Um, where do I want to go? Yeah, south. Because you have to go south to get to the entrance to the island, which apparently makes no sense. But, um, then I don't make sense either. Today is... Monday the... Something of December the twentieth, the twentieth, and um, on Saturday I had a great time up all night recording something that's prob well uh, it's it's probably out by now, but I'm not going to say anything like definite about it just in case. Hey monster, get off my lawn! But um, shit, goddamn, get off your western jump! Um, yeah, I just had to. Um, so yeah, I had a great time recording that stuff on Saturday night. I'm probably going recording more fun stuff this Wednesday. This Wednesday? Do you have a death wish? Let's go on in here. Yeah, I, I've, I've been dreading this because this is the most irritating. Like basically you have to hit him 500 times with your sword. You know, 500 challenges! Might as well be 500 challenges! Um... You have to hit him 500 times with your sword. Now I don't know if you have to hit him 100 times, then 300 times, and then 500 in order to do it right, or whether it's enough just to hit him 500 times on your first go. Okay. Just remember to use your so shield. Um, is what I do. So hit him like a couple of times and then put up your shield. Don't go for like two combos is what I'd say, cause you're never, you're, like you might get it sometimes, but other times you're not going to. Now he, you have to hit him 500 times without him hitting you, like, without him hitting you three times, which can be hard. Okay, I'm just gonna wait him out. Oh, I never explained what I was going to do. My stupid idea is to like fast forward this, like 
so that like by 10 times or something if I can do that and um, like fast forward to 10 times so that it only takes like 20 seconds because it's probably going to take like 20 minutes so um, um, that should be fun. Like, I'm only at 41 now, it's 500. So I'm nearly like a tenth of the way there. Yeah, I'm tenth of the way there now. So I have to do, like, take that amount of time. Ten more, nine more time. Before I'm at 500. Yeah. Oh, what? Well, yeah, for this piece of powers. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, just make sure you use your shield. You should be fine. If you just, if you're cautious, you got to play defensively at this. Like, you're able to use your power attack if you want, but that's a bit more risky. If you get power attack off of him, then that, like, counts as two hits instead of one. Um, I know I'm competing, but this is going to be set up, and it's going to be incomprehensible. Comprehensible! This is perfectly comprehensible! It's so defensible! Oh yes, 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 oh
to um what is that place's name i'd never know whether to call it headstone island or tombstone island i'm gonna check mon map right now headstone island okay i never know which beetle beetle it was like getting rolled right up in my grill getting up in the king of red lions grill his grill he doesn't have grill though he has like a face your face priceless no have a rat no that thing off your face Okay, I've got to stop saying that. That is not going to like become like a catchphrase, because I don't think I. I know you guys tell me, because I don't think I have like a catchphrase. I just say like whatever I want. I think it's kind of silly to say, oh, I have to have a catchphrase. What's my catchphrase going to be? I don't think I have one. It's just that I naturally just say like this is the way I speak normally. Like if I were like a real, li well, I am a real life person. Not if, if I were a real life person. Well, why did Goomba say that? I don't know. If I were, like, in real life, then... Wait a second. Let's get out our telescope. No, not that. What am I doing? Um, if I were, like... If this were my real life, then I'd talk like this anyway, so... Okay, there's, there's like, supposed to be a submarine around here, as far as I remember. I might be just making it up, but I don't think I... Maybe that's it over there. There it is! It's the one that looks like Chicken Submarine in that episode of Cow and Chicken, where the chicken makes a submarine! That was like this great. I loved that show. I think I have like a video with that show on, like a video I bought with like some episodes of that show on it, and I think that one is on it. And also The Ugliest Weenie Part 1 and The Ugliest Weenie Part 2 are on that as well. I don't know what other episodes are on it. I hope the one where they like go to the games, like the video game arcade, is on it. Do you know when they play like Water the Daisies? Do you know that one? I think that's the one with the like. No, I think that's a different one I'm thinking of. There are like two where they go to the video game arcade. There's one where they go and like there's a time machine there. And there's one. Well, what's going on? Rats! Go downtown and have a rat! Now that thing off your face! I wonder if the shields can protect you from explosions. Oh, obviously it can. Oh, well, this is good, isn't it? Okay, no, that no, it didn't work. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do now. Um, boomerang time, because the boomerang kills everything. Yeah, Kick What Toaster was just saying like the other night how like the reason he beat Wind Waker so quickly, like because he started playing through it recently and he did like another playthrough of it, is that the boomerang, is that like, is that he started playing the boomerang. Not playing the boomerang, you don't play the boomerang. Okay, is that all of them? Okay, yeah, see? Once again, oh my god, I can't believe I've done another part. I literally, I must say it every single part. Oh my god, the boomerang is the best weapon in the entire game. Anyone who doesn't use the boomerang is an idiot. It's the best weapon in the game. You know, it's the best music video ever made in the history of the world. What the hell, like, I mean, how could you say something like that? This is the most ridiculous thing. No matter what music video it is, like, why would you- Oh, it's a treasure chart. Um, why would you say, It is the best music video ever made in the history of the entire world! Well, like, he didn't actually say that, but he might as well have. It's just like, why? See, so yeah, the boomerang helped us out. Look, we only lost, like, we lost, like, a heart of damage. Who cares? That's chump change. Um, okay, I'm up to like 20 minutes recording now, so, I don't know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where we're going, and then, like, I'm going to go to where we're going, and then we'll do that in the next part, because I might as well record another part, seeing as I'm at it. I'm just so glad to have that orca thing over and done with, and that it went well. Oh, I still haven't gotten the map fish for that location, okay. I'm talking about rocks by your oil, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, why did I stop talking? Okay, well, I, I... Okay, I'm gonna show you on the map. Do you see this square here? Rockspire Isle is there. That's where we're going. So, um... I guess I'll see you next time in Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I hope this video wasn't, like, really short or something, but I don't think it should be. Because that Orca thing didn't take, like, as long as I thought it would. So, um... Yeah, I guess I'll see you next time at Rockspire Isle.